ETFinalScore.com has East Texas high school sports covered. And now, you can take it with you. Get the latest scores from Friday Night Football, articles and videos. Focus in on Dotney photo galleries and more. So don't miss a thing and get your ETFinalScore.com app today. I'm Jamie Garrick and here's your CBS19.TV web exclusive for Wednesday, August 21st. When you think of going green with a car purchase, do you think first of an all-electric car? New research indicates they're not always the greenest choice for the long haul. There's actually two ports. There's one for the charging. Hector Abanis says when customers come in to look at the all-electric Nissan LEAF at the Fremont Auto Mall, the environment is often at the top of their minds. And you're doing both. You're saving money, saving the environment, um, and pretty much help the whole world start this movement and everybody go green. The base price is $29,000. The LEAF gets the equivalent of 129 miles per gallon and even has a solar panel on the roof to help charge the battery system. Everybody's impressed. Everybody's happy. But a new study by the research group Climate Central says all electric vehicles are not always the greenest choice. Depending on which state you live in and the environmental impacts of the power generated in those states, in some cases, a gas electric hybrid is actually the more environmentally friendly choice. What it comes down to is the uh, source of the electricity. Allison Kenward is a senior scientist at Climate Central and is one of the study's main authors. So just because electric cars don't burn on gasoline and they don't have a tailpipe doesn't mean they're zero emissions. You have to think about the emissions that come from the electricity that goes into charging those vehicles so you can drive them. All vehicles also have what researchers call a carbon debt from the manufacturing process at the time they roll off the showroom floor. So factoring in that initial carbon debt and the ongoing source of power from the electric grid, researchers have put it all together to analyze the long-term environmental impact. So in states that have uh, really clean forms of electricity or low emissions forms of electricity like hydropower, nuclear power, in places like that then electric cars really are a more climate friendly option than the best gas powered cars. So the cleanest cars after driving 100,000 miles in California, for example, include the Toyota Prius plug-in hybrid, the electric Honda Fit, and the electric Nissan Leaf. That's your CBS19.TV web exclusive for Wednesday, August 21st. I'm Jamie Garrick.